There are calls for further changes to working holiday visas, but in this case to get more young workers to come here. What's shaping up as Queenstown's busiest winter in years has coincided with a crippling worker shortage. As Juliet Speedy reports, many hospitality businesses are being forced to cancel bookings and close their doors. Queenstown, beautiful, busy and begging for workers. Thousands of them, and it's impossible to miss. It seems every second business has signs in the window most needing to hire multiple staff. The labour shortage crisis is the worst I've ever seen in the 30 years of running restaurants in this town. The reality is, like in our businesses, we could hire a dozen people today and still be understaffed. The timing couldn't be worse with record Australians visiting, meaning for the first time in nearly three years, the demand is huge. It's just heartbreaking when the business is there and when we were unable to do what we do well. The business, is, it's, it's not even that it's at our door, it's booked in and ready to go. We're having to tell them that we can't take them. There is both a national and international labour shortage, but Queenstown is a place hit harder than most, and that's because of the transitory nature of many people that live here and a reliance on migrant workers. We used to have about 5,500 migrant workers in the town. We think we've lost somewhere between two and 2,500. And Operators are crying out for more help. <laughs> Working holiday visas, the process needs to be simplified. You know, we should have been out ahead of this, and it's tough in the sense where Australia has been leading that way and they've been doing quite a lot to attract people. <laughs> because it's taking its toll. The hotelier is telling me that uh, they can only book 80% uh, because they just can't service the rooms. Uh, restaurants closing for maybe two nights of the week. All of our staff are under serious pressure, you know, mentally, physically, we're all exhausted. The ski industry had help from the government to get staff but is also feeling the pinch. Right now we're pretty challenged to maintain the service levels that we would aspire to. The message is come to beautiful Queenstown to work but also keep coming to visit. Just be patient and kind to the overworked staff. Julia Speedy, News Hub.